Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to another 13 days of Halloween Tumblr tutorial. In this video, we're going to be making a peekaboo Halloween dog tumbler. I made one for the cats for Halloween. And of course, you guys know I'm a dog lady, so I had to make a Halloween dog tumbler. I'm really excited about this one and I hope you guys enjoy the video. If you do, make sure you hit the thumbs up button down below, subscribe to my channel if you are not already, and of course, let me know what you think down below in the comments. I'll have a full supply list for you down below in the description box, along with some discount codes, links to all of my social media pages, my website where you can purchase SVGs and digital files, and my tumblers if you're interested, and a link to join my elite mentorship group, which is an exclusive paid group where you get a bunch of additional content from me. I give out free digital files. We go live in the exclusive Facebook group. We do cup swaps, monthly challenges, all kinds of fun stuff happening in the elite group. So if you would like to join the fam, you can go to madebymannyandmal.com slash mbmm elite. Okay, I think that's it. I really hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. Let's go. <laughs> We've got our 20 ounce traditional tumbler. This is from Craft Haven. This is the one with the rounded bottom. There are two options, the flat bottom and the round. This is the round one. So I have prepped my tumbler. I sanded it down with a sanding block and then washed it with some dish soap and water. And now we're ready to base paint it and get it ready for our peekaboo. So to base paint, I'm using Trail Tan Acrylic Paint. The glitter color we're going to use later is Tabby from Peachy Olive Glitters. It's like a really pretty orange color, makes me think of like a golden retriever coat. <laughs> so we're gonna use that for our bottom peekaboo layer. All right, we're going to use the paint as our adhesive for our glitter. I did a little bit thicker of a coat of paint because of that. So we're gonna use Tabby from Peachy Olive Glitters. And we're just gonna cover the entire tumbler with this fine cut glitter. This is gonna be the underneath layer for our peekaboo. I'm gonna let this dry for probably about 30 to 40 minutes. And then once it's dry, I will seal it with my Crystalac glitter glue and water mixture. Let that dry for two hours and then I'll add two coats of epoxy to the tumbler. So after my two coats of epoxy were applied, I went through and I did some sanding on the top and bottom rims. And now I'm ready to apply my stencils for our peekaboo. So I've got a few little jack-o'-lanterns, some paw prints, and then a few little sparklies. And we're just going to apply these all over the tumbler. We are gonna leave some blank space though for the dog decals that we're gonna add later. So I started putting my stencils on and then I thought I needed to map out where those stickers were gonna go. So I took some pieces of blue painter's tape and I'm just putting them where I think I'll wanna put the dog decals just so that I have that space kind of mapped out in my mind um, and I can place my stencils around those pieces. So I'm just gonna go through and fill up as much space as I can with my stencils. And remember, the more stencils you add, the more this tabby glitter is going to show through in your final result. So just keep that in mind when you're placing your stencils. I use Skinny Dip from Color Shot as the base coat for my peekaboo. And what I'm going to do is kind of like a, I guess you would call it a tacket method almost. So first, before I put my glitter on, I'm gonna go through with my Sharpie and I'm gonna mark off each of my decals so that it's a little bit easier to find them and remove them underneath the glitter we're going to put down.
for our glitter application, I'm going to use Mod Podge. And now I don't ever use Mod Podge really to apply glitter in big sections like this, but I was feeling impatient and I didn't want to wait two hours for epoxy or the glitter glue to dry. So I'm taking Mod Podge because it dries quickly. So I'm going to do a pretty thin, even coat all over my tumbler. And then I'm going to take my glitter. I'm using Goddess from Peachy Olive Glitters. And I'm gonna cover the entire tumbler with a coat of this glitter. And then I'm gonna put a glove on and I'm essentially going to do the tacket method, but with Mod Podge. So I'm going to burnish the glitter down and basically just rub my hand all over the cup to flatten the glitter out. It gives it kind of like a, just a, an, a really cool metallic finish. I don't know how to describe it, but make sure you wear a glove while you're doing this. Um, so I'm going to rub down this glitter the best I can. And then I'm going to take a paper towel and I'm going to put some rubbing alcohol on it. And then I'm really going to go crazy with the rubbing alcohol on my tumbler. And that's going to give us a really, really cool finish with this glitter. So now that our glitter is all rubbed down, we're going to go through and remove all of our stencil vinyl. So you can see because of the way that we rubbed the glitter down, you can see the black marks that we made with our Sharpie on our stencil vinyl. So I'm just gonna go through and peel all of these decals up and then we'll seal this section with a coat of epoxy before we move on to our next set of elements. All right, so we've got our cup here. I did a coat of epoxy over our gold glitter, and then I sanded down the rim of our cup really well, and then just sanded down the body of the tumbler just a little bit. And now we're ready to add our dogs. So I've got these super cute golden retriever ghosts. Now I printed this out using my print and cut on my silhouette. This is matte sticker paper. Typically I like the glossy version, but I'm out of that. So I'm using the matte. Either one will work fine. I'm gonna place them in the areas that we left open when we did the peekaboo. And it's totally okay if it overlaps your peekaboo a little bit, that is totally fine. So you can see that overlaps the paw print just a little bit. It's okay, it's just gonna to add to the layering effect of everything. Made my dogs three and a half inches tall and they're all different widths just because of the, you know, style of the art or the shape of the dog or whatever. So now we can add our extra paw prints and pumpkins. This is orange transparent glitter vinyl from Craft Haven. So we're going to just place these wherever we have an open spot. And now we can, if we want to, layer the glitter vinyl over another element. So I'm just gonna place these all around anywhere I can. You can cut your tiny elements out of whatever you want. I decided to go with white to pull out a little bit of the white in our ghost doggies. So I'm just going to now go around the cup and apply these and fill in any extra space we have or as much extra space as possible, I guess, just to make it look full as can be. Once all of my vinyl was applied, I did seal everything with a coat of the glitter glue and I let it dry for two hours and then I added my final two coats of epoxy. So once those were cured, we are all done. Here is the final result. I really love how this turned out. Definitely a little bit different from my vision, but I really like the final result. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I tried to get my golden retriever in the final footage. I thought it would be really cute, but she just sat there and yelled at me the whole time. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to hit the thumbs up button down below. 
Let me know what you think in the comments and be sure to subscribe to my channel if you are not already. And that's a wrap on the 13 Days of Halloween series. Thank you guys so much for watching. I had so much fun doing this and I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. Okay, I'll see you guys in another video very soon. Love you. Bye.